everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Now I can't put out a discussion video talking about the race of the authors that I read and then not do a non-white author book. And when I went to Barnes & Noble to do my research for that specific video, I ended up picking up a book and that book was Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. This book is super shiny as you guys can tell so I won't be holding it up for too long because it's going to get really distracting. The story follows Nicholas Young and Rachel Chu who are in their late 20s or early 30s. They are Chinese and they are living in New York City and are dating. Nicholas is from Singapore and he actually comes from an extremely wealthy, extremely influential family but Rachel is American born and doesn't have any idea of Nicholas's background or anything really about his family or anything like that. But then one day Colin invites Rachel to go back home. He is going to be the best man in his best friend's wedding and so he invites Rachel to come back home with him to attend the wedding and meet all of his family and basically hijinks ensue. The way that this book is written, there's a blurb on the back that someone described this as being like a Chinese Dallas, which I feel like is a pretty accurate description. When I was reading this book it kept reminding me of other things. The whole idea that Rachel has no idea of Nicholas's background reminded me of that movie from the early 2000s with Julia Stiles where she dates someone from her college who turns out to be like the Prince of Norway or something. And also it's kind of like a Chinese gossip girl because it is very much about the upper crust top 1%. Now while the story focuses mainly on Nicholas and Rachel, you jump back and forth between the perspectives of different people each chapter basically takes place following different characters so you find out about not just Nicholas and Rachel but also about Nicholas's various family members and just other families who run within these circles which I thought was really interesting because it provided a bunch of different perspectives of this lifestyle. This book is right around 400 pages it's like 402 or 403 pages total and it does feel like it's a little bit on the long side. The amount of times that they talked about like Gucci and Louis Vuitton felt a little bit unnecessary. I understand that it's a major part of Chinese culture, but they talked about it so much and it didn't always feel necessary. Another thing that happens in this book is a lot of the characters use Chinese words interspersed within English, and so there are times where they'll use a Chinese phrase and then there'll be an asterisk and then there'll be a footnote at the bottom describing what the phrase means in English which is both helpful and also distracting and I felt like it was sort of breaking the flow of the story. At least it felt that way in the beginning and so I didn't feel like I was completely connecting until I really got into the rhythm of the book which is about like 100 pages in or so. And then after that I didn't mind it as much and I think also I just stopped reading them all. I would say my main problem with this book is the fact that you can tell that the story is leading up to a certain point in time and then after that event happens, the way that the conflict is resolved at the end was very unsatisfactory to me. It felt a little bit too easy. And then when it did end, it didn't even feel like it ended in a nice neat way. Like it was contrived and it still ended slightly messy or slightly unresolved, which didn't make sense to me because if you're going to create an ending that is slightly contrived, you should at least wrap everything up. I don't know. It just didn't really work for me. But otherwise I did really really enjoy this book. This book is a really fast read and when I was reading the book I didn't want to stop reading. There were a couple of times where I was reading this during my lunch break and I wish my lunch break was longer so that way I could keep going because once you're in this world I was so intrigued to see what was going to happen to all these different characters and how things were going to turn out. So the writing is super engaging. It totally pulls you into this world. In the end I gave Crazy Rich Asians three and a half out of five stars. On Goodreads I rated it three out of five stars because I don't think it's quite there to be a four star book. I wasn't super satisfied with the ending so I didn't feel like giving it four stars but I would give it a solid three and a half stars. I definitely recommend it. I think it's a really fun read. If you're looking for something really quick and fun to read I think this is like a really good beach read. If you like things that are slightly more dramatic and over the top I feel like this is sort of like what a modern day 
Jane Austen book would be like because there's so much things about class and structure and rituals and traditions and things like that that it reminds you a lot of Jane Austen. So if you like those types of things, if you like romantic comedies that are really well written, I definitely recommend this book. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. If you have read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you thought of it and especially let me know what you thought of the ending because that's the one thing that I want to discuss more. So yeah, that's all I have for now and thanks for watching.